Hello, it's only me again. Right, what can I tell you? Well, I cut my piece of metal off first. Yeah. That size. Now, I can't stress enough the importance of knowing what you're doing. Uh, what I mean by that is I've, I've claimed to be the world's worst at DIY, and I have to say I am. Now, I needed a piece of wood. The piece of wood that I needed had to be this size to fit on this. So it has to be that length by that length. What would we say we're looking at then? Two foot by four foot. Now the importance of knowing if you're measuring in inches or millimeters, I can't stress it enough. And I'll tell you why. I ordered uh, that piece of wood and uh, will it come today? Four foot by eight foot four foot by eight foot plywood and I only wanted it two foot by four foot so that's the importance of knowing if you're measuring in inches or millimeters now that I use the wood uh, I always find use for something if I'm going to put a shelf up I'll need to cut the shelf eight times uh, I'll get one of them up so that's not a problem but that just goes to show you now the other oh, about last year now um, the keyboard of my computer started playing up the letter C kept sticking and uh, I thought I need to buy another one and uh, I woke up in the midst of the night one night panicked that I didn't order my keyboard uh, so I ordered it and thought no more about it. Well, next day delivery, Amazon, the keyboard turned up. It was about eight foot long, again, about two foot wide. Electronic keyboard, an actual keyboard for a band, giant keyboard, giant keyboard for a band turned up, not a keyboard for a computer. I was half asleep. So Mrs. D Donovan these days doesn't allow me on Amazon after 10 o'clock and now you know why right just thought i'd share that with you importance of measuring inches or millimeters and knowing which one you're actually doing otherwise you'll end up with something like that thank you